and a strong tackle. It might be the moment to get them ahead, and a goal! That will do it, they've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, let's take another look, and wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was this And the final whistle is sounded, it is a victory on match day one for the home side. We argue with that. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with Martinez. Di Maria. Now with Martinez. Must take the lead here. And it's in! 1 0. They breach the defense. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through. It might be. Not an attempt that will live long in the match. This could square the game. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all... And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Stephen here, they can't be separated. We weren't triggered to goals. And Stuart, interested to get your verdict. In a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed that one. We're getting the ball forward. Oh, he's through here. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Drilled home with true conviction! Tremendous goal! Well, here it is again, and you have to say, this is a very good volley. His technique is... Into the advanced position. This could level it. And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual. And Messi in a good position. What can he and his teammates do? Can he put them in front? A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great... And the final whistle, a victory for Argentina. Precisely what their fans were hoping for, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve... ...building up. What a game this promises to be. It's Argentina against Denmark. Well, the hosts certainly go into this game as strong favourites. They have better technical players and can be brilliant when everything clicks. So, Damsgaard. Kasper Dolberg. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Well, they keep working. Can they get themselves in front here? Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky. Delaney. Vass. Oh, he's found the net, and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted, and just what they deserve. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. And moving the ball nicely. Can he get one back? Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley. That is that for the first half here. Oh, great vision. Chance here. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes... Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Real chance. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now.
Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect... Martinez. Now, who can he play it to? This could be the equaliser. What late excitement. And the match is level. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up, and both will come on here. And he did what he had to do defensively. Must take the lead here. And still danger here. Oh, there it is! Incredible! How about this for guts and courage? Can they see this out now? Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it dropped. If you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Dybala, it's there for him, and there is the goal! He's found the net, joy unconfined! Well, let's take another look, and wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to... And there we have it, the referee brings this game to an end. Argentina have made it through to the last eight. Well, I'm not normally a fan of extra time, but that was enjoyable today because the just about the better team in the end. For the tension-packed part of this World Cup, we're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here we're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's Argentina versus the Netherlands. Well, Derek, although the hosts are clear favourites, this could prove to be a tricky game for them, unless they score... Let's have a look about this, but the danger averted for now. Martinez. Can, can he put them in front? There is the goal to open the scoring! Who can say they don't deserve to be in front? Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no... Klassen. Memphis Depay! And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box. Just begging for a teammate to... Klassen. Steven Bergwijn. Klassen has it. Good-looking ball. Oh, he's through here. In it goes. He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he... Ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? The first half here comes to an end. Di Maria now. Can he take the chance? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And a goal to square the game into the seat stuff. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the cannot be separated here. And it's on to extra time. Janssen. Steven Berghaus. Klassen. Oh, surely... Memphis Depay! And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again! They simply can't handle him! Well, it takes a lot of skill to get that right, and he's certainly got that. It's... Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Danger averted. A goal! Real excitement! A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to... Locked together then, these two sides. And off we go now to penalty kicks. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. And there it is! Mental preparation is such a big part of this. 
Low and accurate, that penalty. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And he scores! His turn to try to convert from the spot. And it's gone in! And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Goalkeeper beats it from the spot. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Can he get the better of the keeper? He had to score, and he does. on his shoulders if he scores they win not to be in terms of the finish and so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast And he steps up to take the shot. And the penalty converted here. Can he keep us cool? Superb placement there. Can he convert? Clinical as always, in front of goal. And he's beaten the keeper. And he steps up to take his penalty. Oh, he saved it! the scene here at the Lusail Stadium just to the north of the Doha Di Maria great challenge he got nothing but ball trying his luck from long range and Martinez must take the lead here and how about that and a goal the opening statement in the semi-final how important can that prove to be well, let's take another look now, and it's a superb cross by Messi, and it ends up with a fairly simple... The right pass. Martinez, it's there for him. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Could be, and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, here it is again. Messi's cross really invites somebody to go and attack it, while the movement in the box is equal. What have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just... Well, placement over power, but it didn't work out for him. Fred. And there goes the whistle. Music to the ears of all their fans. 
They've only gone and made it through to the World Cup final. Well, they won most of the individual battles all over the park today, and that was key to their comfortable win in the end. It was a really composed... Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players for supply. Martinez and played the pass well can they forge ahead and there it is living history the opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final incredible celebrations well as you can see he makes it look easy in the end but I think Paul Pogba Kylian Mbappe moving the ball nicely looking for that final pass now, will they be able to... And they might be through here. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end. But you still have to be... Ego de Paul. Well, potential danger. Well, how close was that? Inches away. And they will make the change. Can they nudge in front late on here? Must take the lead here. Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, that's a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. 